Dear Mum and Dad. That's taken an hour to put that down. <laughs> Dear Mum and Dad, that's all I've got in an hour. How long he writes those plays of his, I'll never know. Twelve is written today. <laughs> Dear Mum and Dad, an hour it's taken me. What are you talking to yourself for, Eric? I don't know. I'm told when I get to my age, you do that. Get off, it's true. <laughs> Joking, I'm not. Hello. The genius has mixed all the records up again. Look at that. The best of the beach, boys. That's mine. Pickety witch. That's mine. You've got me by the hollies. Harry Lauder, keep right on till the end of the road. That's right. <laughs> Mary Lloyd, a little of what you fancy does you good. <laughs> Poor fella, can only listen to it now. <laughs> <laughs> the Licardo. Tip Willow. Song by Nanky Poo. <laughs> Nanky Poo? Sounds like an Indian group. <laughs> You'll never miss them. <laughs> Hello, Oscar. Oscar? Oscar what? I'm not interested in pop singers. Oh. <laughs> I'm an author. What have you been doing in the other room? Perusing my synopsis. Well, every man needs a hobby. <laughs> How's the play doing? Finished. How many is that you've written today in that suit? <laughs> Twelve. You look like a brown ale. <laughs> Trendy, this is. Twelve, eh? Yes, twelve. All I gotta do is phone the guest down. I'll invite him round for tea. Invite him round for tea? Yeah, invite him round for tea, you know, to discuss the play. Good idea. That's all I'm gonna do. Yep. Hello? Hello? Working? Oh, you're here. I got that. <laughs> have you seen my Nanky Poo? <laughs> if I have, it was quite accidental, I promise you that. <laughs> There's been interfering with these records. I can't. I haven't got time to look for it now. I must phone the guest star. Uh... Who's it going to be, the guest now? Fenella Fielding. <laughs> What's the matter? You fool. What? You're not inviting Fenella back on the show after, are you? Yeah, of course I am. After the way she treated you on that Lord Nelson sketch. I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. You were limping for three weeks after that. <laughs> she fancies you like magic. Knock out about you, you know. Why do you think I got it back? When you get to my age. <laughs> What's that mean? Well... <laughs> Hello? Miss Vanilla Fielding? Oh, I am sorry. She's in bed. Where else? <laughs> Miss Fielding, how would you like to appear in one of the greatest plays ever written? I wrote it. Oh, Ernie Wise. Would you like to come round for tea? You would? What? You're in a remote part of the countryside, but you'll be round as soon as possible. Good. Looking forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. She'll be round as soon as possible. Hello. Hello, Miss Fielding. Hello, Chunky. Chunky! Let him fall me. Would you just come this way, Miss Fielding? Chunky! First of all, I'd like to say how <laughs> delighted I am to see you again. Oh, isn't he gorgeous? I could throw myself at him. Well, don't. He's very small. You could miss. <laughs> Such a long time. Hasn't it? We had a lot of fun together, though, didn't we? <laughs> Could I have a word with you, please? Yeah. Is there something wrong? <laughs> <clears throat> Go easy with her. Why? He's lost his nanky poo. <laughs> <laughs> what have you lost? My nanky poo. <laughs> He's lost his nanky poo. He's lost his nanky poo. <laughs> and there's worse to come. I hate to tell you this, but it's perused his synopsis as well. <laughs> and I'm only telling you because you're a man of the world. <laughs> Miss Feely, would you care to come and sit down and join us in a cup of tea? Yes, I'd love like to. Would you like to <laughs> Who's going to be mother? <laughs> I think we'll play safe. I'll be mother. <laughs> Excuse me. What 
you done? What have I done wrong now? I'm warning you about that. Remember that Lord Nelson sketch? I don't know what you did to you that night, but you had to push your bike home. Now remember. <laughs> but will you stop? Will you stop interfering? For goodness sake. Do you have one of these? They look delicious. Oh, thank you very much. Now, Miss Billing, if I just tell you about my play, it's a romantic play. Did you say romantic? Yes, romantic. Could I get a word in, please? Will you take your hand off his muffin? <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise. Would you stop trying to protect me? I don't want the muffin. You have it. You see, he's off his muffin now. <laughs> but what if he is? Honestly, Eric, you are appalling. You think of nothing but food. Yes. Now, I'd just like to tell you <laughs> about my play. It's a tribute to the great Noel Coward. Noel Coward? Yes. He's mad about Noel Coward. I am. I'm mad about Noel Coward. Noel Coward and Gladys Mills. I believe they're one of the same person. <laughs> How do you mean? Well, it was Noel Mills and Gladys Coward. And he had to pick a name, so I picked Noel Coward. To save having to alter his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you rambling on about? I don't know. I'll make it all up as I go along. That's the impression I try and give. <laughs> Green bugs. Don't have one of those. You know they make you walk funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Fee, if I could just tell you about my play. Oh, yes, please. You see, in this play <laughs> that I've written, I play the part of Digby Dunbobby. Oh, isn't he a beautiful little mover? <laughs> <laughs> He's on casters, you know. <laughs> International playboy, boy. Uh, boy. Playboy boy. Playboy. <laughs> International playboy boy. 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 Several people at once. <laughs> International playboy and heir apparent. Heir apparent? Yes. That means you can see the join. Yeah. <laughs> now, Eric plays the part of Tony Fortescue, a ne'er do well musical comedy composer down on his luck. That's me. But what about me? Ah, uh -uh. uh, haven't you heard? You play a very important part. Do I? You play the part of a very bored English lady who is domiciled in Monte Carlo. And it's very painful, I'm told. <laughs> but don't worry, you get it on the national health. Typical Noel Coward plot, don't you think? Oh, yes. Now, tell me, mm. what is the name of this bored English lady? When you find out, you'll flip. You'll listen to this. Lady Bedworthy. Bedworthy? <laughs> <laughs> what a gorgeous name. Be careful. You're squashing his eclis cake. <laughs> Is there something wrong with him? He look, you see, he's gone all funny. No, he's listening to the tide coming in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> stereo. Golly, go get back and enjoy life. Uh. Just, I don't know what it is about this lovely little fellow, but whenever I see him, something deep down inside of me goes. <laughs> If you just control yourself, I mean... I nation. can't. What do you mean, you can't? I can't control myself. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the hand breaks off. She's gone berserk. I mean, top gear. No, please. But I've always hey, hey, lasted hey, a minute. Take my umbrella to defend please, yourself. Get back, get back. Oh. Please, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> give me that key. Nothing. But nothing would induce me to give you this key. Here's a pound. That's enough. <laughs> Keep the chain. <laughs> Please, Miss Feely, don't come into my boudoir, please, I beg you. Those big blue eyes, they're mine. Yeah. Stop that, stop that. Those great manly shoulders, they're mine. Give over, give over. Those great big arms, they're mine. Incidentally, yes. when you get to the umbrella, it's mine. <laughs>